what's going on everybody today i got a video for you working on this beautiful chiller right here as you can see this is a 30 rbf uh carrier 30 rbf takes off uh full 10 a uh, it's a small chiller it's not that big uh, but it's a beauty i had a call that this building was hot uh, yes when i came i saw an alarm and i saw that the water temperature was a little high and when i say little it was actually high i was having like 58 degree water going into the building and that's because i only had a half of the chiller running but uh, uh i'm gonna show you what what i found out and hopefully this can help you in the future um, <clears throat> like i said uh, you never know so this is what i had right now i'm actually is running the chiller and I have a pretty good temperature it's not that bad uh, for what I had at first I have 45 degree water going in now uh, versus versus uh, like I say 58 that I had uh, like I said it's not a uh, big chiller so uh, this is what I found out it's still an alarm but I'm gonna explain the reason why it's still an alarm uh, I'm gonna show you the alarms that I had in this uh, chiller. Uh, the alarms that I had. Let me let me navigate through this so you can see the alarms that I had over here uh, when I walked into this uh, chiller. So let's go to history. Let's see uh, history right here, and then I'm gonna scroll down. And this is the alarm that I had when I walked in. I had two alarms. High pressure switch, compressor A1, and high pressure switch on compressor A2. Those are the alarms that I had. And when you get those alarms, the first thing that you wanna check is you wanna check your uh, condenser fan motor. That's what you wanna check to um, make sure your condenser fan motors are running. In this case, I have uh, six. I have three on each side. Uh, three on circuit A and three on uh, circuit uh, B. Make sure they're running. And these are my circuits. Uh, so only circuit B was running and circuit A was not running. Again, circuit A wasn't running. Uh, so what I did is I reset the alarm. Let me show you. I walk this way so I can show you. I reset the alarm and this is the other alarm that he gave me after he tried to run. The alarm that he gave me was Verbal Speed Fan Failure Circuit A. That alarm show up after I reset it and, I, and then he tried to run. Uh, and, I, and as you can see over here in the electrical box, uh, you're not gonna see any condenser fan motors over here so there's no condenser fan motors right here there's no con uh, there's no breakers there's no contactors no not even back here there's no contactors so where are they at where are the con if if they're not over here uh where could could they be so it's something that i want to show you know maybe this is the first time you work in this kind of team so let's start walking this way so I can show you where the where they at. So over here you got your drive. There you are. And that's where your fans are. Look at that. That's where your fans are. So that's where the condenser fan models are. This is the other one for circuit B. We're not working on that one, so we're working in this one. So I took the cover off. As you can see, the cover is over here, that's uh, six bolts, and that's one right there just to show you. Uh, let me walk the, uh, through the inside so I can show you much better what I did on, the, on this drive. Uh, let me sit down over here. Alright. Okay. So... This is my drive over here. Man, I gotta deal with this ant over here. There's a fire ant right there. They've been beating me up all day long. Anyways, 
Okay, this is my drive. Uh, this is my fans right there. As you can see, I'm gonna have fan uh, number one, number two, and number three. In this case, I only have three, but you can six fans in half here. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so what I did is, so I grabbed my meter and I put it on ohm. Some people like to do it on ohm, some people don't. I always do it. I've been doing it for seven years and never had it. Used. Anyway, so what I did is I owned my uh, motors to see if they were ground. Uh, so I grabbed my leaks and what I did is I started measuring uh, the wire one well, on measuring but to see if, if it was ready to on screen to black, uh, green to black, green to yellow, green to blue, making sure it wasn't reading anything, any ohms, uh, green same thing here, green, black, yellow, blue, and on the one two. So but uh, what I notice is, is when I have uh, this uh, number one, I had it connected on this terminal. It was giving me because that's the right, the, the one that is bad. It was making my good ones read uh, ohms. This green to black and this green to yellow was reading ohms when I had that one connected. Uh, it was affecting the readings on, on this other two fans, so I had to unplug it. And that's when I start, I started getting any readings. I was getting uh, OL. That's what I should get in order uh, for my fans not to be ground. Um, I've been doing this for a long time. Like I said, never had any issues. Uh, it's always it always worked. Um, anyway, so one motor will throw all of your motors in alarm. All of them. It's gonna throw this drive in alarm one of the motors like right now have this alarm that's called missing motor w203 and the reason of it because i have this one right here disconnected which is one but it won't affect the rest it will not affect the rest because it's already disconnected but if i connect it it will it will affect the rest of the motors uh, right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the cover back up and um, that's it uh, i'm gonna leave it running and let me let me let me show you how I have it over here. <clears throat> this is the reason I have that alarm. <clears throat> As you can see the alarm. Right there is an alarm. That's because I have uh, that motor over there disconnected and the variable speed is giving me an alarm. So it's showing me this alarm down here. Let me, let me see. So you can see the same alarm. It is now because I have the motor disconnected not affecting it. B0.98 okay let's see and okay not there let me try again alarm B0.98 and variable speed fan failure like I said because I have that motor disconnected and variable speed is giving me an alarm but it's no longer affecting the rest of my motor because it's disconnected. So that's how I have it running over here. Now let's check my uh, pressures. Hold on, I'm gonna check my pressures because I, I remember one motor is out. That's my water actually, let me check the water. I have good cooling, 49, 46. Let's go to the pressures now. Uh, two, 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 two. So I have 384 on the high side, so it's a little high, higher than what it's supposed to be for 410 On A, I have 266. I don't know if uh, all A's are running. Uh, it's a little low for 410. So let's see, okay, 483. Uh, like I said, it's 410A. Refrigerant. So it's not that bad. So I'm gonna leave it that way. But if you have issues with pressure, uh, what you can do is on the good uh, circuit, leave those two compressors running, and on the bad circuit, uh, one and eliminate A2. In this case, it's A2. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna shut the A2 breaker off. That way I can help 
with the pressure sense one motor is run is out and your pressures are supposed to go a little bit down uh, that's a good way to do it as well so you don't have issues with pressure while you go get the, the condenser fan motor that is bad thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video is helpful for you please like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it and for my followers thank you so much for your support i really appreciate it i hope every one of you have a beautiful and nice day